purple. It was launched in New Delhi back in 2014 and it's been republished now in the year of perfect vision, that is, this present year, 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the title poem. It's called Smell of Purple. She says she can smell yellow. She says she can smell blue, despite not being able to spell either colour. Yellow smells the same as blue, like a wet kitty drying by the fire. Mummy, red smells like mummy when she kisses. Her kisses smell different when she kisses you. Then she smells like flames with little orange tips. Purple is my favourite smell. It smells just like a magic spell. A kiss of goodnight like lilac, only lighter, with little flecks of purple scattered here and there. Thank you. Soft, soft. <clears throat> Always her fascination with me shaving. This her early morning ritual, observing each action as if it were holy. I hide my face in foam. Santa Claus, Santa Claus, she chants. <laughs> Winces with delight as the razor she gulps, goes over my bump without gasp, slicing it off. The shaving uncovers the me she knows. Soft, soft. Mr. Daddy, soft, soft. She gurgles in a lather of laughter. Me now, me now, me now, she pleads like a little police car. I take the brush, coat her reflection with foam. I shave her with the tip of my little finger. Her reflection sniggers and she sniggers too. Later in the early evening, she appears bearded in fresh cream. She shaves herself with a lollipop stick. Me, daddy now, see? I cha-cha-cha her on the tips of my toes as she clings to my fingertips. The living room dances around us. One delighted, half-shaved little girl. One delighted, soft, soft, Mr. Daddy. Your book. Your book is called Crawling Out and Falling Up. Uh, now for something completely different. Uh, this is called I Thought Be The Dalek Was A Job For Life. He Was A Dalek. Fallen on hard times, got a job on the underground, on outing stations, on outing stations, on outing stations. His wife also had seen better days, got a job as a talking clock. Mr. and Mrs. Dalek, far now from world domination, extermination of others. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> the next station will be Waterloo. At the next stroke, it will be 12 o'clock. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> when you do that, you just end up eating your own hair. It's terrible. <laughs> uh, it was my daughter's, it's a haiku. It was my daughter's third year of being herself. And we had 30 of our peers around to prove this fact. And I was making red jelly, yellow jelly, blue jelly. And we'd run out of yellow jelly and only wanted yellow jelly. So I went out of the room and I was coming back juggling the jellies. And everybody was going mad. It was just total craziness. And I thought, what the hell are they doing in there? And I approached the door and before I could open it up, the sound just cut like a jacada. And now I was afraid of the silence. But before I could open the door, they all burst out and they said this haiku. Old dog, new tricks. The dog is in the loo! We were teaching him to pee! And he just fell in. Thank you. Thank you. That's Donald Dempsey.